While the auto world is debuting incredible battery electric vehicles, these three legacy automakers are doubling down on hydrogen fuel cell. We also have a teaser for Infiniti's new SUV, and we also have another teaser from Nissan in the form of the Z Coupe. We know what it sounds like now. <laughs> Luxurious Fleet, welcome back. Thank you for all the support and the growth of the channel, really. Let's keep this momentum going and reach 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Let's go. Over at Hyundai Media Center, Hyundai launches global advocacy program to highlight its leading role in hydrogen fuel cell technology. And this is underlying Hyundai's commitment to sustainable mobility for all. Now they're reaching out to influencers and experts across various sectors and they will showcase the versatility of hydrogen as a sustainable emission-free energy source. I mean, she looks really, really excited to be with this Nexo. These ambassadors include world-renowned DJ Peggy Gao, winner of Germany's Next Top Model, Tony Dreher Adenugu, Adenuga? Scientist and YouTuber Jacob Botemps, photographer Conrad Langer, Renowned journalist Don Dahlman, tech influencer Alexi Bexi, cartooning expert JP Kramer. This is just for them to promote their technology because, I mean, I don't even know who any of these people are. Now, maybe a part of that is because I live in a secluded environment. Be, I don't know. I don't know why I don't know who any of these people are. If you guys know who they are, definitely let me know. But to me, they're a bunch of nobodies. I don't know how successful this H2U, hydrogen to you campaign is going to be. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the comments because this is just very strange that they're, I mean, it makes sense. If you want to promote your product, you reach out to influencers. And I'm sure these people have millions of followers. I just don't know who any of them are. Now, if you guys wanted to watch this H2U video where it's just like a uh, advertisement for the Nexo and other exciting, sustainable, shots with random people's faces. Please watch it if you're interested. But more on the fuel cell front, Shell, Toyota, and Honda plan expansion of hydrogen refueling network in California. Well, that's really the only place they might be able to succeed in the near future. So almost a $41 million award proposed by the California Energy Commission to build hydrogen infrastructure at 51 sites. Now, I heard there's around 50 sites already in California, so that would get it to about 100. Now, if successful, Shell Hydrogen will install hydrogen refueling equipment at 48 existing Shell retail stations, which means gas stations. They would upgrade two current Shell Hydrogen stations and add light duty refueling dispensers and positions at one existing Shell Hydrogen heavy duty truck station. Further, Toyota and Honda have agreed to expand fuel cell electric vehicle sales in California to support these hydrogen fuel cell shell stations. That's the only thing really holding back hydrogen fuel cells right now is infrastructure. And they're like, okay, well, we're gonna start small. We need to start in a very forward thinking community like California. The problem is, I mean, all these electric cars keep coming out, better range, faster, more luxurious, better built. Tesla's not slowing down anytime soon. We just got the Lucid Air. I watched that entire live stream last night. It was phenomenal. Me with my Lexus background, I was just salivating over the luxury of that vehicle and the power and the, the technology, etc. And for the price, I don't think it's that bad, but I'm not going to talk about the Lucid Air too much today. It's about fuel cells and my theory, and, and my viewers have told me a little bit about this as you guys are always very helpful in educating me. You guys have mentioned that these Asian countries, namely Japan and South Korea, I'm sure China's doing some fuel cell stuff too at this point in time. They are developing hydrogen fuel cell to be independent. They don't want to be dependent on external fuel sources like gasoline uh, and oil for that matter. They're investing heavily in something that they have control over and possibly something that they can export. If they don't have to be dependent on external fuel sources, uh, that's more power to them, less dependent than they are on other people. And then they can also market that to other countries if they're able to buy into this fuel cell technology. The problem is battery technology keeps evolving and fuel cell vehicles still need batteries. So I, I do believe fuel cells are a great technology and they're a great energy storage technology and they're a great massive people mover, product mover technology for buses, semis, uh, boats potentially. 
I think the possibility is there, but for the average person with a fuel cell vehicle, the infrastructure needs to be absolutely tremendous. And yes, the infrastructure of electric cars is not great with super fast charging or anything like that, but everyone, if you have a house, more than likely you do, if you can afford an electric car or fuel cell car, you just plug in your car at home and you'd be able to cover 99% of the things you need to do with plugging your car. And with fuel cells, you still have to go somewhere else to fill up, which is not that convenient. It's only convenient if you're on a long trip and you need somewhere to stop to refuel. And guys, you know I could talk about fuel cells and how they're good in some circumstances, but for the mass adoption, I don't think it's a good idea, at least not at this point in time, especially with a rapid acceleration of battery technology. But I'll see you guys in the comments on fuel cells. Here are the Nissan Proto Roar. Nissan keeps teasing uh, the Z. And if you guys haven't been following, I'm gonna be unveiling the Z here in a couple weeks. I'll put my stream time and date on the screen for you because I will be streaming the, the unveil. So let's go ahead and watch it real quick. Manual transmission confirmed right there. That's all you get. That's really the only sound you get. Well, I'll let you guys kind of watch the rest of this. So you get it twice, you get it twice. So we know what it kind of sounds like and you can replay this video over and over, but um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the Infinity, the Infinity's twin turbo V6 because why wouldn't they? It's a great engine and I have an, a channel brought up here so you guys can listen to what the stock exhaust sounds on a, on a Q50 uh, or yeah, Q60 Red Sport 400. Sounds identical to me, at least really, really close. I know, you know, this is in a garage with the microphone a ways away, but it sounds like the same engine. So yeah, what do you guys think in the comments? Do you think it's gonna be this twin turbo V6? I'm about 99% sure it is, at least on the top spec, and then who knows what they're gonna do for uh, maybe different product placements um, of the entry, middle, and high range with the three liter twin turbo V6 being the range topper with 400 horsepower. Over at Motor Authority, Infiniti's QX60 design teased. Now they also have a spy shot of the most heavily camouflaged vehicle I think I've ever seen. This is incredible. I think maybe the only reason they know this is Infinity is because of the wheels. But if we go over to the Infinity newsroom here, there is a little loop of this QX60 monograph, which will be revealed on 925. Uh, 2020. I'll put my stream date because I love streaming with you guys. It's just so much fun to hang out with you. I'll put my stream date because um, this is 9 a.m. on the 25th Japan time. So that's going to be later in the day on the 24th here in America. So I'll put that stream time. So pretty exciting QX60. What do I think about it? Well, yeah, with a GV80 coming out from Genesis, I think it's got an extra competitor. But Genesis, as it is right now with their low volume and just lack of sales in, in general, they're not really a threat to anyone but we'll see as that as time goes on how threatening the gv80 and the infinity sedans can be but the qx60 is like the big time seller for infinity they sell more of those than any other car i think the q qx50 might be gaining some some sales here and there yeah it'll be interesting i think these headlights look pretty cool i love the lit up infinity logo i hope they keep that um, they debuted that with their infinity concepts in the past couple of years with the illuminated logo and with many many automakers going with the illuminated logo like we just saw with I think ionic has it with their electric cars and then lucid has it with their car it just it just looks really sharp and yeah, it's, it's advertising at nighttime for them. And lastly, guys, Beijing show goes on, but not with execs. And this is coming from Automotive News. Most automakers are not going to be there. So Volkswagen, General Motors, which are the two largest Chinese manufacturers, Toyota's not going to be there, Honda's not going to be there, Nissan, Ford, PSA, uh, the big three in for German luxury, Audi, BMW, Mercedes-Benz, and they're all massive sellers there, especially for Audi. I think they sold like 800,000 Audis there last year in China. It's just mind-blowing. Hyundai's going to be there potentially, and so could Mazda, which is kind of surprising because if Toyota pulls out of something, I would expect Mazda to because they're like kind of in the same company since 
since Toyota owns a big part of them. Uh, but Hyundai being there would be interesting and Mazda being there would be super interesting because the rest of the Japanese automakers look to not be there. Um, it looks like Polestar is going to be the only non-Chinese group they are confirmed but that's really because Volvo is owned by Chinese. But Volvo themselves that said that they're not gonna send anyone from outside China to the show. It's also, it's all inside China auto show. So yeah, you guys, I'll put the link there if you wanna read the rest of it. Lots of news guys, fuel cells. You know, Elon Musk loves to call them fool cells, but they have their place. They have a lot of potential infrastructure as i say over and over again it is a problem and yes uh, they're developing trying to develop they're they're hoping someone bites on this shell development it's because they're going to give them 50 million dollars to install these at shell gas stations hyundai net with their nexo honda has their clarity fuel cell and then with the new toyota Mirai coming out at the end of this year, it will be very interesting to see how long fuel cell is going to be invested in, developed in, because yeah, electrified cars, battery electric cars keep improving, improving, improving. There's nowhere really to go for them because you can't fill them up. So I'll see you guys definitely in the next video and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the live streams of the QX60 um, monograph unveil and the Nissan Z unveil in the coming weeks. So very exciting and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for the growth of the channel. Hit the like button if you haven't. And yeah, you guys rock. I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Peace out.